Hello, good morning. Hi, Jexa, good morning. Welcome to the English morning, class. Hey, thank you, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Did you sleep well? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's good. Yes, I, I, I don't feel nice. right. Oh, really? Why? Because Left I, I was very tired. <laughs> Oh, yes, I suppose. I suppose that you were very, very tired. You know, sometimes uh, you feel like all the days that you haven't slept very well, then the next day or the day when you decide to sleep very well, you get up like if you have been sleeping all your life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tired or, but at the same time, maybe energetic because sleeping is good. If you don't sleep, then after some days you feel very bad. Well, in my case, it happens. I always feel like I have been to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> very, very common way to, to feel if I don't sleep. Okay. What about your classes at the university? How were they? Well, the, the class for yesterday was very interesting. Okay. Because we were, we were practicing mm -hmm. uh, with some new tool. Okay. Ah, okay. Nice. What about the so, presentations? Did you finish the presentations? Uh, excuse me? Did you finish the presentations? Last time you told me that you had some oral presentations. Oh, yes, but this presentation is just for one day. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. It's the last week. The last week, okay. Yes. So, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday the teacher was presenting present the mm -hmm. new tools and we start to, to practice. Okay, good. That's nice. And this is the last one you said, right? This is the... Or, or because you already finished your university studies. Uh, yes, I, I I have to I have to study two two subjects more. Two subjects more. Okay, so that's good. And yes. then you finish this year. Yes. So online, online. <laughs> that's good. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's like Sophie. I was talking to Sophie. She said that. She finished her career in economy and she is doing the graduation work in English. In English, sorry, in the Spanish. But online. Online. Uh -huh, online. <laughs> I would be different. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, my girlfriend too. How oh, she is doing the, in it online? The, she is in the, with the thesis online. Oh my God, and she has meetings with the, her. Well, is she doing the tests alone or with more people? In with group? more people. Mm, okay. I did my tests just with one person more. But by that time, it was difficult not to, well, it was difficult to have internet in the house. So we had to go to cyber cafes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, well, she, for example, when he had to, he has to present all, uh, all the uh, advances. All the mm -hmm. uh, well, proper and the meeting in, in all together uh, in the meeting. They with, share the, <laughs> the different the parts. In, in the group. Mm -hmm. And I start the presentation. And I started, oh, okay. I don't remember if she told me that the next presentation will be next week. Ah, okay. The next presentation of the graduation process. And, and yes. what does she study? She studied the same career. The same. Uh -huh. the same. Okay, great. In the same university? Yes. Oh, so maybe you have, okay, that, that, that's good. You can support each other. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. great. Very nice. Very, very cool. So you know, this is a new, the new generation, the online generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know if next year is going to be the same, but some people say that it will continue like that, being online. Mm -hmm. Yes, I suppose uh, we continue with online class. Mm -hmm. I expect that the job is in the house too. in the house too. That, that, that's good well it's nice because you don't have to transport from one place to another traffic you avoid traffic you avoid spending gasoline avoid spending on lunches or stuff like that in offices but at the same time it's, it's more difficult maybe in your case it's a little bit a little bit maybe more relaxing because you live alone so you, yes. <laughs> you, do, you do whatever you want in your house. I mean, you are the one. But in these other houses where we have husband, children, and that, ah, that's very difficult. <laughs> because, yes, but, uh, well, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, I have the, my neighbor from my ah. house at the door, and she has a business. Oh, so you have noise. <laughs> uh, yes, I have noise. Well, I have two neighbors. Mm -hmm. The in front of me is a salon. Uh -huh. And next uh, is a shoes. Shoe store. No. Fabrica. Uh, factory? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a factory. Ah, okay. Well, we can so have shoes for Franklin. <laughs> the, the noise is very. It's too. too, too, too it's very high. You say, uh -huh, it's too noisy. Ah, uh, oh, it's too noisy. noisy. Mm -hmm. it's yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. God. So I understand. I understand when you have neighbors who are very noisy and that interrupts, right? Interrupts. Well, but anyways, well, here we are. Hey, we have more people. Sophie, Veronica, Araceli, Franklin, Joanna. Good morning. Welcome to the last video conference. Good morning. Nero, how are you? Hello, Sophie. Good morning. Hello. How do Good you morning. feel? Hey, hello, Joa. How are you? <laughs> ah, Happy. <hey. laughs> yes, because it's Friday. Yeah, yeah no, and on Friday. Monday, on Monday you will get up late. I know. <laughs> yes, you get up late about seven or 7.30. I don't know, depends. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Sinia okay. is here. Good morning, Sinia. Okay. How are you, Araceli? Good morning, teacher. Morning, morning, Sinia. Well, the last, the last class, okay, for today, the video conference number 25, okay? So today we have the practice, okay? We have just the practice, and remember, we also have, okay, the evaluation, okay, the, not the final exam, no, this is a, a um, or a, like a, a in terms of the course evaluation, okay, that you have to, to do. I hope you have everything ready, okay. Tengan ya su correo o WhatsApp abierto, cualquiera de las dos que va a usar, okay. Remember, it's only one, okay. Remember, it's only one. That's nice, guys. Eh, ¿Qué tal como vamos con la plataforma? Finish the platform, no, no yet. Franklin, yes, exam finish, the final exam, exam? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Yes, okay, very good, that's nice. And you, Franklin? Hasta donde llegó Frank, do you remember? Section... Uh, Section four, no, three. Four. Four, no, four. okay, very good. Uh, so mm -hmm. you only need the final exam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Right. Vero también siguió, ¿verdad, Vero? Ay, estaba viendo ahí ya. Um, I, uh, uh, este, I progresado. Uh -huh. I finished the, the platform. Excellent, Veronica. Okay, very good. That's Cecilia. How about you? ¿Cómo va? Super. Me falta el de ahora. El de ahora, ok. En the final exam, Cecilia no lo ha he hecho. No, no, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Ok, do it, ok, do it. Así mañana en la tarde, pues ya, todo el sábado, ok. Háganlo en, quizás en la noche, si tienen un tiempito, right? ok. No sé, ¿cuánto tiempo le tardó, pero más o menos? Así, how much time did you spend on the platform in the, the last part? 
a little time mm -hmm. is 20 minutes. 20 minutes maximum, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Si es que se le han acumulado, if you have accumulated, but if you have only one tarea, right, that's like ah, 10 minutes maximum, okay, maximum. But that's nice, okay? Very good, guys. This is, this is, okay, I'm going to be checking the platform this weekend. So that's it. It's still, you have some time, my friends, okay, to do so. Okay, well, as I said before, today we have to practice, okay? We have to do many things just to, okay, to wrap up everything, okay, from the uh, unit number four. That's it. And you know that unit number four has been, um, you know, focused, okay, on personal training, okay? We're gonna go over this part in unit number four, just for you to see, okay, all the topics that we have studied, right? If you have questions or comments about the topics, let me know, please, okay? So the first topic that we practiced, okay, in personal, uh, training personal, was uh, the, you know, this one, okay, the, the vocabulary, okay, here you have to, 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 to number the steps in the correct order. We did this, okay, then we had, okay, um, a vocabulary. You did this, I remember we did this in the class. Goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, qualifications, etc. okay? Then, guys, we had to uh, put this information, right? That's it, the training opportunities in the correct uh, space, okay, according to the definition. Then we have the unit number four, okay, we continue and go over with this. We practice the use of will, okay, will and present continuous, that's it, okay. This is the, the, the stuff here. Or, okay, and then guys, we will we practice this and we did the exercises, okay? After that, uh, we did the, the present continuous as future for very, very um, specific information like date, time, and arrangements, right? And this is what we're gonna do today, okay? The vocabulary building. This is included in the platform, so today we're gonna do it. Okay, and uh, this is the, the contrast, right? We present continuous with wheel. You did this exercise. Okay, and practically we have just the last part, which is uh, this one. And then the manual is over, okay? So we're going to start with this, this part, guys. That's it. So, you know, this is um, how, to, how to evaluate, okay, in this case, a, the evaluation of the training, okay? Let me, let me ask you if, you if you have a, Joa, Joanna, you remember the last training you had? Was last year or this year? Do you uh, remember? The last year? The last year, ah, okay. So it was that the last year. Did you have an evaluation about the training? No? I I can hear you say se, se teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Did you did you have an evaluation about the training? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember some aspects? Uh, mm -hmm. in in, in the finally the training the last day mm -hmm. uh, everybody uh, evaluated the, the, uh, the topic the topics uh -huh. the trainer uh -huh. activities oh, okay yes. very good very good Ili hello Ili good morning uh, can you mention some do you remember some specific information about the evaluation of the training uh, at the same, Joanna, I remember uh, the evaluate the activities, mm -hmm. the, uh, the plays, games, mm -hmm. the games, the activities, and... Did you evaluate uh, the trainer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. And what about, guys, uh, what about the, 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 the aspects? It was from one to ten? 
or you have to write open answers, or you just have to check something. Excellent, very good, good. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Okay, okay, that's it. So, you know, this is what we're gonna do today. We are going to pretend, huh? we're gonna pretend, okay? This is uh, in your manuals, please. This is on page 40. This is the last page we have here, okay? And then it says here, okay, we have um, this part, okay? This is a little reading that we have. Read the following excerpt from about the importance of evaluating the effects of training programs, okay? Evaluating the effects, okay? Let's see this part, okay? I will ask, okay, one person to read, okay? So, uh, Sophie, can you please help us read? Read the paragraph, please. Okay. Asking your employees. Asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trainees fill out upon, mm -hmm. upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey. Like today, email. electronic survey, uh -huh, through email. Through email, a checklist, or questionnaire right after the training is over. Very good. A training survey focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have start using them. Measures. Using the measures, the effectiveness of mm -hmm. the training program. Company must combine such information with objectives evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Okay, very good. That's it. So this is this is the reading, okay, about the training evaluation. And here, my friends, you have here, okay, a, we have three three questions, okay, three questions about the reading. And then you have an example of a training effectiveness evaluation form. Let's check the, the, the components, okay? Components. Vero, can you read please the training effectiveness evaluation form? Mm -hmm. Vero, hello. Ah, teacher, excuse mm -hmm. me, I, I talk about the music. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Training effectiveness evaluation for Very good. the uh -huh. date, course title, name, optional trainer. Okay. In the question is how how would you rate the quality of this training? Is excellent, good, fair, poor? Oh, poor. Okay, very good. So in this case, guys, when you have excellent, obviously it's ten. Good, that would be like eight, okay, more or less. Excellent, and nine and 10. Good, that would be like eight and seven. Fair, that would be like six and uh, six and, and five. And poor is very deficient, okay? So that is from four, three to, to, to zero, okay? Next question, Vero. Okay, how well did the trainer keep the section interesting? Okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh, very good. Continue with the number three. How well did this program accommodate your background in news? And needs, very good. Okay, number four. Or how effective were the handouts? The handouts, very good. Handouts, guys, are what we call in Spanish las copias, <laughs> okay? Separatas, okay? Handouts, that's it. Next. How convenient was the location? Okay, convenient. Mm -hmm. Convenient. Convenient, excellent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Next. The knowledge and skill I gained from this program would be useful in my job. Okay, very good. Uh, next, if yes. If yes, then list one item from the training that you are going to implement mm -hmm. or review when you re return to board. Okay, and the what last other, one. What other training would you like managers to provide? To provide. 
Okay. Provide. Very good, eh, eh, Vero. Okay, what other trainings would you like management? This is your, your, your bosses, okay? Provide, okay? Because maybe they provide different trainings, right? Remember, we learn about different kind of trainings. It's not just eh, going to smile, not training or only legislation, but you have more trainings in your work, okay? So, my friends, this is page number 40. This is what you're gonna start working on, okay? Right now, I want you to work in pairs. I know, I know, and this is for sure, the evaluations are individual, okay? But right now, because it's a practice, you are gonna do it in pairs, okay? So you just have to evaluate. And what are you going to evaluate? What are you going to evaluate, okay? You are going to evaluate, okay, the training that you just recently finished. So this is this course, okay? Remember, this course is a training for you. It's not just like, okay, a simple course of English and that's it, no. You, but this training is for long term. Remember, this is not one day, one week, three days, no. This is two years training, <laughs> okay? So this is what you have to evaluate. Don't feel pushed. I know the teacher is here. I'm going to put excellent. No, this is your personal opinion, okay? So let's do it, please. Uh, right now, read the little paragraph, answer the three questions, and then complete the, 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 um, the form with excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Fair, poor, etc. According to your opinions there. Page number 40 in your manuals, please. Okay, let's start working right now. Okay, it will take you like about maybe 15 minutes to do it. Okay, let's do it. Accept the invitation, please. And let's start working. Yes. Do you have the manual? No, teacher, I don't. Uh -huh. You don't have I'm, it. I'm mute. Okay. Do you have the manual? I have it. I don't have it. Okay. Other computer. So I can share. Okay. I can... Uh, take a picture right now in the for the reading. Okay. Take a picture. A picture or a screenshot. Mm -hmm. When you finish, tell me, please. A screenshot or a picture, okay? Finish? Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the picture for the evaluation form. Mm -hmm. Take a picture, please. And then you can continue working, right? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Can you listen to me? Hello. Yes, uh, teacher. Um, yes, tell me. Um, the answer is uh, this. Uh, this is. Yes, right now, Franklin, you're going to read the reading. You you read the reading yes. with Araceli. When you finish, right. you answer the three questions. Mm -hmm. uh, this is. Yes, and when you finish, you complete the evaluation form. Okay? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's Thank it. you. For example, the number one, what are some <clears throat> alternatives to evaluate training? Okay. Uh, okay. That's it. So alternatives are different ways because sometimes people say, ah, it's only a questionnaire, but sometimes it's, there are more ways to, to, to evaluate. Okay. Okay. That's it. Very nice. Continue. Please. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's maybe an electronic. Uh, este. Así. Sería como forma de evaluar. Ah, teacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> teacher, teacher uh, uh, uh -huh. about the first question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Hey, about what are some alternatives to evaluate training? Yes. Uh -huh. It's about, uh, in this case, is a encuesta. Uh -huh. Exactly. And the other alternative, maybe, I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This? Mm -hmm. Ah, in this part. Email, checklist. electronic survey, oh, checklist. Okay. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. That's it. Okay, very good. Okay. Una herramienta Hello. puede Hello. ser encuesta electrónica. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, do you have a question? Yes, uh -huh. the, yeah. this evaluation is, is for you, is the insafor, is the class, or is the one experience? In this one, the one that you have in the book is an example. You are going to evaluate the English uh, training course. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's for English. Uh -huh. It's for English uh, course. For example, in this case, the intermediate one. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. an example, Thank okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, Brendita. Good morning. Hey, Gabby. Good morning. <laughs> morning. How are you, Gabby? I'm fine. Oh, very good. I, I listen to you so energetic. <laughs> ah, maybe you, you drank coffee already, huh? <laughs> no, I don't like coffee, teacher. It's true. You like liquids, shakes, yes. everything. Okay. Yes. Do you, do you drink, do you drink uh, milkshakes and strawberry shakes or whatever in your house? Um. Not really. No. Uh, no. Only in uh, the office. In the office, yes. <laughs> I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember. Okay. Very good. Continue. Continue. Okay. Well, Gabby, ignore me. Uh, ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby said, communicate with customers. Uh, well, in my case. Uh, read specific information. Mm -hmm. Specific information. And for you, Blanca. Mm. Um. Well, uh, common Communicate, communicate, or uh -huh. communicate with customer and understand the system. Ah, very good. Excellent. Ah, understand the system. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I suppose your system is in English, right? And no, it's no. in Spanish. No but Spanish. some maybe some, some terms. Some third is in English. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. But this for the special customers. Ah, okay. Good. Then the last question, I suppose, no? No, is the if yes, the least one item from the training that you're going to implement or ah, okay. Uh huh. And the other is what other trainings would you like management to provide? Uh huh. French. <laughs> well, good. Mm -hmm. Other language. Other language. Okay. What other language do you use in your work, Gabby? Just English or you have another? Yes. No. Chinese? No. English. <laughs> no. Okay. I, I like to learn Portuguese. Ah, Portuguese. Oh, well, it would be easier for you because you already uh -huh. speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Other language or any other? It's not just related to to uh, languages, but you can choose other kind of trainings. For example, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
trainings about what? Uh, Emergencies, uh -huh, COVID. Economy or whatever. Something that is going to be useful in your work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Very good. Continue, please. De la sería um, <coughs> ¿Por qué algunas should? No. Why should companies combine? Uh -huh. How do you mean should? Should, deberían, should. Deberían, ah, porque uh -huh. las compañías combinar el resultado de entrenamiento y evaluación. En, uh, ok. Al final estaba, yes, aquí está. Company must combine such information. Combine, combine. Ah, combine. Mm -hmm. Teacher, combine. Eh, eh, pronunciation. Eh, This word, means Effectiveness. Effectiveness. Effectiveness, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Company must combine such uh, combine, combine, combine. It. <laughs> mm -hmm. such information with of you to and to get the complete picture of training result. Araceli, a complete picture of training result. Uh, to get uh, the training to keep the patient interesting. Ignore me, ah, ¿eh? ignore me. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> you continue, continue. Yes, And okay. then, please don't feel affected, like, oh no, the teacher is here. That's yes, what excellent. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> This is optional, okay? Okay, keep, keep the session interesting and mantener la. La sesión. La sesión, ajá. Ajá. Interesante o amena, ¿verdad? Poder ajá. Interesting. Exactly. Uh, how well this This is your It's, it's difficult for me, but I have to be here recording your work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, please. You finished the questions, right, from the reading? Yes. Yes, okay, great. Okay, guys, did you finish? Hello. Oh, oh, finish. No, not yet. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yes, Joan. Excuse me, can you repeat? Wait. Okay, yo, I had problems with her connectivity because she's not here anymore. Ah, she's back. Okay, continue, fill up, please. Viernes. <laughs> It's viernes. Yoba, ¿dónde está? Sleeping. Yoba, good morning. Yoba. Ah, is there? Good morning, there. I'm here. Good morning, yes, it's here. Hi, Yoba. 
Okay. Hi. Okay, so the, the, the other one is so important for me, the last question that we have here, okay? Uh, if yes, the answer is list one item, uh, list one item from the training that you are going to implement, okay, when you return to work. For example, how important is English in your work? So you have to give me the answers there. For example, uh, in previous uh, in previous groups that I have been checking, they said, "Oh, it, English is good because we communicate with the clients, because we can uh, understand the system very well, okay, etc." So, according to your opinion, okay, um, how are you going to implement English in your work? This is what you have to answer, okay? Okay. And that's it. Hi. Okay, hello. Hello. Finished. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. okay. Finished. let me check here. Okay, very good. Uh, economy, legislation, other countries, advanced level, Excel. Ah, okay, very good. The date, the name is optional. Remember, this is a, with no name, so somehow. Okay, course of their English for, okay. This is English for work program. Ah. Mm -hmm. English for work program. Mm -hmm. That's it, good, very good. And then we have, oh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your evaluation. <laughs> you passed the level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now can you please scroll up? I need to see the answers for the, for the, for the reading. Ah, we have to do this. Yes, uh -huh, you have to answer ah, this. I, I, I suppose that just the survey. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. But, but this is easy. Okay, for example, what are some alternatives to evaluate trainings? In, this, in the first paragraph, in the second part. Okay, you have different ways to, to, to evaluate trainings. It's not just a paper. Uh -huh. Yes, server, draw email. Uh -huh. Checklist. Checklist. Other? Uh, questionnaire. Questionnaire. Very good. Okay. That's it. Or? Mm -hmm. Checklist and questionnaires. Very good. Those are the most common evaluation. Okay. Uh, alternatives. Okay. Number two. So do you How measure do you the measure the effectiveness? Mm -hmm. How do como miden la efectividad de un programa, right? Well, it's a it's a pain because you can uh, choose with excellent, good, fair, or a punctuation of one or to ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look. The evaluation form, that's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Through an evaluation form. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's it. If you don't evaluate, you will know, you will not know if the training was successful and effective. Okay, that's it. Okay. The last question, why should companies combine the results of training and evaluation of the training? Why should companies well, because she, well, the company needs that uh, the training uh, will be useful for your work. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Look at the last, the last paragraph. The, the, the answer is in the last sentence. It says, companies must combine such information ah, with yes, objective yes. evaluations to get a complete picture of training results. Mm -hmm. Very good. This is to, to get a complete picture, it that's in un panorama, right? Completo. Oh, okay. You don't you don't translate it like a photo completa, no a panorama. Okay, in this case, the translation. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Very good. Now that you have this, okay, you are done, and that's it. Okay, very, very, very nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, you're done with this act, this exercise. Okay, very good. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
Well, we're gonna come back because we need to do some things, okay? That's it. Okay, guys, I think everybody is here now. Let me check. We're waiting for some others. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. ¿Quién me hace falta ahorita? Okay. Ayúdenme, please. Giancarlo. Juan Carlos. Six, no, here. Yeah, Juan Carlos yes. is here. Necesito. 16, 16, because obviously two, two people are not here. Blanquita is here, Blank is here. Brenda. It's uh, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Brenda. Hi, oh, teacher. Oscar. Brenda. Ya no está, ah, ya no está en el curso, ya. Ya lo dejó desde hace mucho tiempo. <laughs> okay. Está nice. lista Joana, Giovanni está aquí, Dalila is here. Yeah. Okay, Sophie. Gaby. Gaby, Gaby. Creo que la, la Beatriz. Beatriz. La Beatriz. Uh -huh. Me le podría llamar, por favor, Gaby. La Beatriz, es que, bueno, ahorita le llamo. Por favor, necesito que esté ahorita conectada. Uh -huh. Ok. Well, my friends, eh, voy a pasarme al español ahorita porque ya falta poquitos minutos antes de comenzar la, a completar la encuesta en línea. Ok. Prácticamente es lo que estamos viendo ahora, right? De, de llenar una evaluación. Ok. Solo que esta sí es verdadera, ¿verdad? Esta sí hay que tener mucho detalle en cómo llenarla y cómo tenerla acá. Así que quisiera verle las caras a todos, por favor, activen su cámara. Necesito saber que me están poniendo atención y que los tengo enfrente. Porque a veces están así como que están, pero cuando yo les pregunto no están. Así que, por favor, les pido de favor el último día que me enseñen su carita. Quiero mantenerlos en mi mente. ¡Ah! <risa> ok teacher yo estoy desde la compu y ah, okay. no, no problem. la computadora de la empresa no me permite no hay problema Itzel pero, pero esté ahí ok, sí, ahí, okay. Por favor, no yo sea. igual teacher okay, sí, no puedo. pero aquí estoy aquí estoy pero están ahí lo importante sí. es que ver sí. que estén aquí que no estén levantados sí, teacher. Okay. Giovanni está ahí está Lila ok Teacher, yo estoy desde el celular ahora porque la encuesta la voy a contestar en el... La computadora okay. de la... Ajá, de los no problem. Ok, no problem. Ok, that's it. Ok, Giovanni, por ejemplo, no me contesta. Yo no sé si está ahí presente o no. Por favor. Se va a conectar eh, Anda, Beatriz. Anda haciendo el desayuno. Uh -huh. yes. Anda haciendo el desayuno. Trayendo las sí. pupusas, anda, dice. Ah, bueno. En delivery, one by one. <risa> Imagínense si la dejara ya a Juan Carlos hasta que salte, ¿verdad? La de despedida. Yes, I remember. Oh. Virtual, virtual. Virtual, ok. Nah. Bueno, quiero ver. Yes, estamos acá. Que no hay emoji de pupusas aquí. No hay emoji. From... <risa> Salvadorian emojis. <risa> yes. Ok, bueno, vamos a ver este, a Carlita. Ok, vamos a esperar a Carlita un minutito más. Ok, este, sí, esto es importante eh, que, que, que lo hagamos todos en la misma sintonía, ok, porque no quiero que haya problema después de que tal vez el grupo este salió y todos lo hicieron bien y solo aquí yo no. No que todos lo vamos a hacer despacio, 
para hacer esta encuesta, chicos, no tienen un tiempo, no hay nadie quien va a ganar primero, yo termine primero, y yo, no. Aquí tomen su tiempo, verifiquen que toda la información esté bien puesta, ok, y etcétera. Ahorita les quiero compartir qué es lo que se envió, ok, lo que me enviaron a mí de parte de Inglés Corporativo. ¿Pueden ver el WhatsApp? ¿Sí? ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí. Chicos? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Esta es la información que vamos a ir llenando. Aquí no me aparece su información, obviamente. A mí solo me aparece las datos generales del curso, ¿ok? Lo que usted va a hacer es copiar, mire, todo este número. Cuando le pidan orden del inicio, ¿ok? Usted le va a dar copiar, ¿ok? Y se va a ir a la encuesta y ahí lo va a pegar, ¿sí? Así va a ser el mecanismo que vamos a hacer para que no esté copiando número con número, porque de repente no vio y hay dos seis y usted puso tres seis. Y ahí sí ya está malo, ¿ok? El nombre del proveedor, usted tiene que escoger inglés corporativo, en paréntesis, nuestro nombre legal es Regal International SADCB, ¿ok? Después aparece el nombre del curso, que es inglés principiante módulo, en este caso es del 2. El de usted, ok, es este exactamente que tengo aquí, inglés principiante módulo 1, ok, así tiene que ir. Pero usted no tiene que escribir nada, solo va a copiar y pegar. Por eso es que le decía yo que si está en una compu es lo mejor que puede hacer ahorita. Igual en la orden de inicio para PAE sería toda esta. Todos los grupos tienen un número diferente, así que estamos acá. ¿En qué fecha inició el curso? Usted copia la fecha, ¿verdad? Fue el 20 de, 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 de julio y terminamos ahora 28 de agosto, ¿ok? Lo importante que quiero que haga cuando llene ya toda la información personal y ahí va a poner su nombre, según DUI, su número de teléfono, el correo electrónico que usted dio a la empresa, que creo que eso ya se lo enviaron también y usted solo va, ¿qué va a hacer? Copy, paste, copy, paste. Cuando ya estemos acá, a usted lo va a redirigir a este, a este link, ¿Ok? ¿Qué va a hacer cuando este link esté abierto? Ahí pues usted, eh, usted solito, ¿verdad? En su intimidad de su casa y en la computadora va a hacer este, eh, pues el siguiente paso que es llenar la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Del curso, no de todos los años, no, sino que exactamente de este mes, ¿ok? ¿Pueden ver esta encuesta? ¿Sí? No. ¿No la miran? Carla, Joana, no. Gaby. No. ¿No la ven? Pantalla del no. Oh, my God. Ok, vamos a ver otra vez. Aquí voy a ver otra vez acá. Aquí la tengo. Hoy sí creo que la van a ver. ¿La pueden ver? Ahorita le confirmo. Yes. yes. Sí. Oh. Va. Perfecto. Aquí está. Esta oh, es sí. la encuesta que cuando usted le dé clic a ese link, esta es la encuesta. Y aquí empieza toda la información. Mire el número uno. Ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Quiere decir que allá en el WhatsApp o en el correo, allí le aparece el orden de inicio. Usted solo lo va a copiar y... ¿Qué va a hacer aquí? Pegarlo, ¿ok? No lo vaya a digitar porque se me va a confundir en algún número. No me le puso la pleca, en vez de pleca le puso guión bajo y eso ya no es válido, ¿ok? Después, chicos, nos vamos a la número 2 y aquí me va a poner su nombre completo según DUI, su correo electrónico. Sí, acá el correo electrónico que usted proveyó a Inglés Corporativo para que le estén mandando toda la información. Su número de celular, ¿ok? El celular que proveyó también a la empresa, ¿ok? Para, este, para, para, para pues que le llamen y que le manden ahí sus, sus mensajitos también. Sexo, pues aquí tenemos escoja femenino, masculino. La número 6, empresa donde trabaja, 
según usted la proveyó a inglés corporativo. Pero esa información la tienen ya en su correo, ¿verdad? Solo va a copiar y pegar. Aquí le va a salir un montón de proveedores. Estos lugares son los lugares donde se puede recibir clases de inglés con esa for también. Usted aquí obviamente va a escoger el de nosotros, ¿sí? Aquí está inglés corporativo, ¿ok? Este, y aparece en paréntesis este, Regal International, ¿ok? Aquí aparece inglés corporativo, Regal International, le da clic, estamos ahí. Después, el nombre del curso. El nombre del curso no es Inglés Intermedio 2, no, sino que ahí aparece exactamente el nombre. Usted lo copia y lo pega acá. La siguiente información en la número 9, ese sí ya es parte suya, es personal, ¿ok? Acá usted tiene las opciones insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente, ¿ok? El número uno, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? O sea, dos horas, ¿verdad? Y usted ahí, pues, eh, pone alguna de estas opciones. No, yo siento que es muy poquito, pues, entonces ahí le pone. Yo siento que es bastante, o sea, que es prudente. Bueno, that's ok. Y usted le pone su, su ponderación. ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Todos los temas que hemos estado viendo en este, ¿creen ustedes que están relacionados a su área de trabajo? ¿O creen que les ayuda en mejorar, etcétera? O usted aquí me le pone su este, valoración. ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? ¿Ok? En este caso tenemos Zoom, la plataforma, dónde están los libros, o ¿okay? que todo lo que hemos usado en el curso en sí son insuficientes, deficientes, aceptables, buena, excelente, usted califica una ahí. ¿Ok? Aquí esto otra vez, copiar y pegar, en qué fecha inició el curso, la 11, en qué fecha finalizó el curso, también lo copia y lo pega porque mira el formato, tiene un formato específico, ¿ve? Día, mes y año, ¿ok? De ahí, en la número 12, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Aquí solo hay dos opciones, ¿está satisfecho? Con mi curso de inglés, aquí inglés intermedio 1 con teacher Iris García, o está insatisfecho, ¿ok? Usted solo selecciona una. 13. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés que Insafor le puede brindar, ¿ok? De tecnología, eh, cursos de, de leyes, I don't know. Usted ahí escriba su respuesta. Y en la número 14, chicos, es comentarios. Usted ahí va a escribir el comentario que quiera poner y si no tiene comentarios pues puede poner agradecimiento si quiere y si no pues ahí este, la idea es que siempre escriba algo. Si está satisfecho pues ponga comentarios si está insatisfecho también y aquí por favor el último importante no me le vaya a dar clic en enviar antes de llenarlo porque ahí quedó perdida su encuesta. Cuando termine todo, revise si está bien todo. Así con cuidadito. Y si está bien todo, chicos, me le dan enviar. Pero cuidado, alto, alto, alto. Cuando sale enviar, ¿ok? Cuando usted ya envió esa encuesta, a usted le va a salir una foto. Esto le va a salir. ¿Lo pueden ver? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Lo ven? Sí. Va. Cuando le salga esto, rápido con su celular, me le toman una foto, ¿ok? Con su celular o hagan una captura de pantalla y me lo toman, por favor. Esta es la confirmación de que usted ya hizo la encuesta y cualquier cosa que diga alguien, Franklin de Jesús no hizo la encuesta, queda fuera del curso, pero ¿y por qué? Yo hoy la hice inmediatamente. Esta foto donde dice, no a la encuesta, sino que donde dice, gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado, ok, exactamente a eso, me le toma foto y me lo envía al grupo de WhatsApp de PAI. ¿Estamos bien ahí? 
Cuando termine la encuesta, me le toma foto a donde dice gracias, su encuesta ha sido enviada y me le toma la foto e inmediatamente me lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp y abajo de esa foto me le pone su nombre completo como lo tiene ahorita en pantalla. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores, Cine Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria, Claudia Iliana Casun de, de, de López, no sé, ok, Verónica Beatriz Cel, su nombre completo. Quiere decir que ustedes son 16 alumnos activos, digo activos porque hay inscritos 18, pero solo logramos terminar 16. Entonces quiero 16 capturas de pantalla cuando usted diga, ok, eh, su, eh, sería esta foto, necesito 16 fotos con esta, ok. Viene usted, la toma, la sube, ok, al grupo de WhatsApp, y abajo me le pone, abajo de la fotito, ok, cuando uno sube una foto a WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Le aparece abajo para escribir algo. Ahí me le pone su nombre completo según Dewey. Y con eso, chicos, estaremos terminando nuestro este, curso de inglés. Obviamente no vamos a terminar ahorita la clase, ¿verdad? Tenemos que terminarla a las 8, pero ya con eso, pues, ya mandamos nuestra nota de satisfacción a InsaForb. Ok, ahorita este, hay alguna pregunta relacionado con lo que va a ser. ¿Hay alguna preguntita? No, ¿Alguna bien. pregunta? ¿Estamos bien? Uh -huh. That's it. Yes. Teacher, vale. ¿podemos ocupar cualquiera de los dos links? ¿El que nos mandaron en el correo? Sí, o el que nos... cual, escoja cualquiera. Este, no. Solo quiero verificar. Ahorita acaba de mandar EXA, ¿verdad? Su encuesta de satisfacción, ok, ya mandó él ahorita que ya lo hizo. Póngamele su nombre, por favor, si se puede, adentro del mensaje, Exa, porque ahí no, porque ahí solo cuando se abre van a leer su nombre en pequeñito, se lo puso. Póngaselo en WhatsApp, ok, ok, el, 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 el staff de. Okay. Les voy a tomar ahorita la asistencia, ok, para ver que estemos todos acá. Y después yo les voy a dar un tiempo para que hagan la encuesta solitos ahí desde su casa. Yo voy a, aquí, manténgase, y yo voy a estar aquí por si necesitan algo, ¿ok? Carla Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Present. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaño. Present. Osman y Saúl de León Hernández. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Cine Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández Palacios. Present. Juan Carlos Molina de Martínez. De Martínez, perdón. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Okay. Claudia Ileana Cazún de Mengiba. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Brenda Present Lucía Rosales Present. Guzmán. Ok. José Perdón, Enrique Bermúdez. Don't worry. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera, absent. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira, absent. And Carla Joana Martínez de Martínez. Ok. Present. Perfect. Very good, guys. Ok. Entonces, ahorita, chicos, pueden ahorita ir a hacer su encuesta. Ok. Así que cualquier cosa, copiar y pegar. Ok. Vamos a hacer ahorita la encuesta. Ya les di las indicaciones. Ok. Ya EXA ya terminó. No hay ningún problema. Recuerden que no tienen un tiempo de decir, ay, en tres minutos. No. Tome su tiempo para que lo haga bien. Y al final, la foto... Ok, exactamente, ok, donde dice gracias, su encuesta ha sido enviado, como se los mencioné anteriormente, y su nombre completo según Dui. Ok, hagan la encuesta, por favor. Ya tienen los datos y lo vamos haciendo.
¿Qué? Sí, dígame. No, no me abre el formulario a mí. Revise su internet, por favor. No dice que no existe este formulario. Tómele foto, por favor, y mándemelo a mí ahorita, lo voy a reportar. Pero intente otra vez, cierre toda la página, todas las páginas activas que tiene. El link quizás no está copiando bien. Sí, verifique por favor que esté copiando todo. Si alguien me lo puede pasar, que desee es el mismo. Sí, es el mismo. Voy a ahorita a mandar, voy a mandar el link ah. otra vez. ¿Ya lo mandó okay. Franklin? No, no, no lo he mandado. No, va. Voy a mandar ahorita el link otra vez, ¿ok? Para Giovanni. Okay. Para Giovanni. Los demás sigan eh, ahí tranquilitos. Okay. Se puede enviar aquí en Zoom. No, 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 no. ¿El qué? ¿El qué? ¿El, el, el link? El link. Inglés corporativo, vamos aquí, aquí está. Muy bien. Pero mándemelo a mí, vea, Giovanni. Ajá. Yo ya le mandé la captura solo a usted. Ah, está bien, muy bien. Ajá, para, por favor, a, aquí le voy a, a mandar el enlace, ok, a usted. Ok, este es el enlace. Tenemos acá, Giovanni ahorita revise su WhatsApp, por favor, se lo manda ahorita, ¿ok? Ok, Va. gracias. Teacher. Ay, sí. sí, Carla Beatriz. Eh, en el nombre de la empresa, ¿cómo vamos a hacer copiar y pegar? Uh -huh. Dice, Padre Salvador, ah, perdón, no, yo no había visto bien. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Verifique la información Ajá. que esté exactamente como el correo o el, el mensaje de WhatsApp que le enviaron. Ok, gracias. Ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Sí, Gaby, dígame. En, en el nombre del curso, ahí tiene comillas. Eso no hay que ponérselo, ¿verdad? Solo el, el, en el, en el, nombre, ¿verdad? En el nombre del curso, aquí tenemos este. Mire, le voy a compartir ahorita. ¿Puede ver esto, Gaby? Gaby. Sí. Sí, Gavita. Ajá. Ok. Acá tenemos el de, el de ustedes, de PAI. Aquí está el nombre del curso. Dice Inglés ah. Intermedio Módulo 1. Ah, es que no en el... Lleva el comillas. Ah, es que en el correo lo habían puesto con comillas. Entonces, ah, ok. Que, no voy a preguntar. Ajá, en el del correo lleva comillas. Ajá. Ok. Sí, igual se le ponen. Yo creo que no habría ningún problema. La importancia okay. es que esté el nombre exacto, ¿verdad? Teacher, en las fechas me las quite, me, me le quito al mes, yo lo vuelvo a poner y le quita el cero, no importa. 2007 no del 2020, si le quita el cero, no importa, el cero a la izquierda no cuenta. Uh -huh. okay. 27, 2020. Blanquita, ahí te da el calendario para que... Ah, y se lo pongo en el calendario. El no es así, el formato es mes, día, año, según el formulario. Sí, correcto. Es que yo se lo copio según el formulario, pero cuando yo lo pongo ahí... Como no, no si... lo copies, mejor búscalo, Pongalo ahí te da el, la opción. En el, en el calendario. El calendario. Ajá. En el calendario, Blanquita. Sí. Acá, mejor acá búscalo. tenemos calendario, entonces ahí pone usted Correct. el día, que sería el 20, pone el, el busca el mes, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita están en el mes de agosto. Y así me lo deja, 27, 20, 20. Va, así, exacto. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Y igualmente con la fecha de finalización, ¿ok? Sí. Teacher. Sí, dígame Araceli. Fíjense que yo entendí que el nombre, mi nombre, uh -huh. iba a ser conforme a, a Dui, entendí yo. Según no sé el que si usted, mal. sí, usted entregó eh, la información en inglés corporativo y el nombre que usted proveyó ahí es el, el nombre que aparece en su lista de asistencia, eh, eh, o, eh, la, 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 la lista oficial. Ese nombre necesito. Ah, va, el que tiene registrado el Insafora ahorita. Claro, sí. Uh -huh. El primer apellido y después nombres. Hola. No, no, no. El primer nombres. apellido. Su nombre ahí no aparece, ¿no? Su nombre completo. Su nombre, nombre, apellido, apellido. Uh -huh. Ok. 
el nombre es el registrado en INSAFOR, ¿verdad, Ticha? En exacto, la lista, como dice usted. Ivana, exacto. Uh -huh. Ahí no le va a aparecer a Juan Carlos de Martínez. Dalila. Dalila, ¿me escucha? Sí, se la escucho. Ok, Dalila, si no tiene ahorita WhatsApp ni nada, por favor, mándemelo a mi correo, ¿sí? Ok. ¿Ya tiene mi correo? No. <risa> Ay, Dalila, Dalila. Vale, ahorita se lo mando. Dalila no tiene, no tiene ahorita acceso a celular, así que por eso lo vamos a hacer vía correo. Pero eso solo da Lila, ¿ok? Lo demás víctima de robo. En el... Víctima de robo. <ríe> ok, Dalila, aquí va ahorita mi correo y me lo manda, por favor, y yo se lo hago llegar a Inglés Corporativo, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Va, ahí va. Y me manda ahí. También su pueden, por los favor. que están desde, 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 desde la, la computadora, pueden colocar el WhatsApp eh, web, ¿verdad? Para que lo manden directamente desde ahí. Yo estoy utilizando esta herramienta y es muy buena. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok, muy bien. Yo le tomé una foto, teacher. Ahí muy bien, yo. Muy bien. No importa. Lo importante es que se note que ahí está su, su captura. Uh -huh. Perfecto. ¿Le funcionó eh, Giovanni? Giovanni. Sí, sí, me ¿Sí? funcionó. Ah, perfecto. Sí, Muy bien. Siga, gracias. Tichi, ¿a dónde me mandó su correo? Al chat de ahorita. O si no, se lo mando al Instagram ahorita. Sí, porque no ¿Sí? me parece. Va, ok, ahorita, Dalila, no se preocupe. Gracias. Uh -huh. Va, ya, ya le mandé el mensaje. Tichi, le mandé sí, la foto, pero... Ve, puede ver la foto, es que está toda borrosa. No importa, no Blanquita, es... aquí está. Uh -huh. Sí, bueno, yo la entiendo. Ahí dice gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Yo creo que eso es lo importante, que, que se pueda leer que ya la, ya la llenó. Okay. En caso, en caso, este, este ahí, pues, este, bueno, yo la puedo leer muy bien. No creo que haya ningún problema. Uh -huh. Y sus nombres completos. Perfecto.
Alguien me acaba de enviar a la cel y no le puso su nombre. Por favor, necesito que le ponga el nombre a, a la foto que mandó al grupo de WhatsApp. Así como lo han sí, estado ahorita, haciendo ahorita. sus compañeros, ¿ok? <coughs> y borra esa captura porque si no va a salir como, como repetida y va a salir como que más alumnos han hecho la... Ok. Ok. Mándelo al grupo de WhatsApp, Franklin, no a mí, por favor. Ok. Ok, muy bien, Araceli. Muy bien, Franklin.
Estamos a la espera de dos compañeros, Verónica y Carla Beatriz, que aún no envían sus capturas de pantalla. ¿Está todo bien, Vero? Ya yes, teacher. Ah, ¿Ya, ¿Ya terminó? Sí, ya, ya, ya terminé. Va, hay que mandar la captura de pantalla, sí, por favor. Sí, en, okay. en breve se la mando. Va, ok. Y Carlita Beatriz también, por favor. Sí, quiero solo saber si están ahí haciendo la, la encuesta. Están inspirando, por pues. Eso veo <laughs> en comentarios. Of course, teacher. Excellent, Carlita. <laughs> bueno. En futuras, en futuros eh, cursos, ok, primero Dios logramos seguir. Eh, pues creo que esta sería la modalidad de estar haciendo su encuesta después del curso para que usted pues note ahí su verdad. Anote ahí sus comentarios, su satisfacción, etc. Aquí tenemos a Carlita Beatriz. Muy bien, muchas gracias Carlita. Y solo me falta uno para completar los 16. Y tenemos a Verona que Beatriz Celsa Saldaña. That's it guys, aplausos for you. Very nice, that's nice. Lo hicieron muy bien, ahí tenemos ya, ok, las 16 encuestas, ok, de ustedes. Super, super, super nice, ¿ok? Eh, ahora, ¿qué nos falta? Bueno, nos falta todavía para terminar el parte del proceso, terminar la plataforma hasta allá donde dice final exam, ¿ok? Hagan el examen final y con eso pues usted ya estaría terminando este, todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Bueno, y ahí pues en espera, ¿verdad? A ver cómo es que van a irle proveyendo después de su diploma que se le va a hacer llegar, ok, a ustedes el diploma de participación, ok. Teacher, una consulta. Sí, sí yo. Y con el del básico, ¿cuándo lo van a entregar o lo van a hacer llegar? Fíjese que en esos, este, como eran presenciales, ahí tendrían que hablar, bueno, pero déjeme preguntarle a, 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 a Elena, ella es la encargada ahora de, del curso de, de inglés para el trabajo, porque como fuimos a, a, a pandemia, después cuarentena, uh -huh. no sé si se lograron llegar a imprimir. Y como recuerden que no solo son los suyos, sino que de todo El Salvador donde se dan estos cursos, no sé si habrán tenido algún problema con ese. Este, ¿En cuál nos quedamos? En el básico 6, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. sí cerramos ese, eh, ese fue el último, Giovanni, ¿se acuerda? ¿O le sí, debíamos ese otro? Ese, ¿O le debíamos otro? No, ¿verdad? Solo ese. Ah, pues el básico 6. Sí, pues serían pocos, gracias a Dios. Así que este, le voy a preguntar a ella, ok, para que se les pueda, si es que se lograron imprimir y si no, pues, pero que está en, en proceso, ok. Como cerraron todo, ¿verdad? De, de la noche a la mañana, pues ha sido Ajá. bastante difícil, ¿verdad? Imprentas y todo eso. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Pero okay, está muy bien, estamos, estamos en, en sintonía, ok, perfect. Ok, guys, we continue, ok, the second part, ok, with this, y que vamos en the second part. Well, eh, exactly, we have this one in, in your books, y teníamos este, right, ok, we're gonna check the answers, ok, for this one. Y my friend Gaby, can you give me the answer, please, for the number one, the, the question number one, what are some alternatives to evaluate training? Um, mm -hmm. a survey and I, I don't know how to say uh, True. Mm -hmm. This true. Uh -huh. Very true. Email, Very good. checklist, and questionnaire. Excellent. Okay. Survey through email, checklist, and questionnaire. Those are the answers that we have for the number one. Okay. The second question is, how do you measure the effectiveness of the program, okay? Uh, let's see, how do you measure the effectiveness of the program? Franklin, do you have the answer? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, again. 
Ok. <laughs> how do you measure, ¿cómo mides? How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and, bueno, uh, I think a uh, training evaluation questionnaire. Ok, Question. very good. Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. In a training evaluation questionnaire. Very good. Yes. Ok, excellent. Uh, let me see here uh, the last one. Why should companies combine the result of training and evaluation of the training? Why do they have to combine that? Okay, uh, this is for EXA. Give me the answer, EXA. Yes. Is get a complete picture of training result. Excellent. To get a complete picture, okay, of training results. Excellent. So this is the last one that you had. Okay, to get the complete picture of training results, okay? Then, obviously, you have the effectiveness evaluation form. Excellent, good, fair, and poor. Well, this is in English, right? In la que acaban de hacer es en Spanish. Ahí dice deficiente, okay, okay, deficiente, muy bien, etc., etc. Okay, well, this is the last part, guys. This is, esto viene en la plataforma, así que, okay, ahí pónganse las pilas, solo para que vayan a llenar eso ahí, okay. This is um, the training solutions, right? Training solutions and the descriptions. Let's start with the number one, okay? Uh, please, we have off-the-shelf training courses, in-house training, okay? Shadowing and mentoring. So we have four, okay, uh, training solutions and we have the description. The description number one, it says, it involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow. Mire, shadow guys es una sombra. O sea que uno se va siguiendo con otro, right? To learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction. For example, sometimes maybe Ileana is in, in uh, she is in the, in the position of a payroll analyst and somebody, okay, new, Claudia, Claudia Hernandez arrives to buy working as a new, okay, payroll analyst. So, uh, for example, your boss, Mr. Campos says, okay, Ileana, can you please help me, okay, to, to share, okay, what um, my friend Claudia is going to be next to you, checking and watching everything you do. Oh, okay, she's going to be with you all days, okay, for one week, example. So, this is, okay, the number one involves one employee following another employee. Esto yo lo he visto mucho en las cajeros, ¿sí? Que están ahí en, la, en the, the market. Y yo a veces me pongo como, María, <laughs> Le dice, ¿y ahí por qué precio no es? Ah, es que aquí, bla, bla, bla. Ah. And they are taking notes and whatever. Okay, this is the number one. Second one, cheaper generic courses. Cheaper is, you know, not expensive. The staff will join employees from other businesses on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve, this is achieve is lograr, okay? Are designed to achieve or count towards a particular recognized qualification, okay? That's it, this is the second one. Okay, the staff will join employees from other businesses on courses. This is cheaper, generic courses. For example, when you have trainings only at, for five employees, ah, that's good, but then you say, oh, I have to have a training in another place and people from different companies are going to get there, okay? So this is the second one. The number three, it involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor, 
Okay, this is an informal transmission of knowledge and social capital. This is like a training which is informal. This is just like face to face. You don't have to, to have a, a, a room with media or no. Use of email and telephone. Okay, como le va? Mire, si, ahí tiene que ser esto. Okay, this is like, okay, the other, the other, um, description okay for this a uh, training solution so the number four is it allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately the trainer must be technically able to do the task and have the patience to teach or coach, okay? You remember sometimes we we always said, "Hey, teacher, we have to we have to finish today at eight o'clock because there is a training in ten minutes." Ah, okay, no problem, right? So this is allow people to learn at their own place, okay? So here are the descriptions, guys. You have the the words, okay, over here. If you have the manual, page number thirty-eight. If you don't have the manual with you right now, you can take a picture or a screenshot, please, for the exercise that you're gonna do right now, okay? I'm gonna count to five. Take a picture, please. One, two, three, four, five, okay? That's it, take a picture of this, right? That's it. And now you are gonna work and complete this table, okay? And then we're gonna check it. This is information we have in the platform. So it is a very important to do it. Okay, accept the invitation right now, please. The number one. I think is shadowing uh, the num uh, number three. What do you think? The number one. Mm -hmm. I think it's shad, shad, shadow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shad, shadow, eh, sombra. Ah, lo que hacen en los bancos. Mm -hmm. Ellos ocupan esa técnica shadowing. Eh, igual nosotros también. Ah, you too, Ili. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it's a when, shadowing. Mm -hmm. When when I arrive the the pie, eh, I I I been a shadow. Ah, okay. Ah, nice. Uh -huh. And it works. It works, Ili. What? Y entra. It funciona. Does it work? At the yes, end? because yes. The, for, in this part, I learn how to use the program mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, the, my other uh, uh, compañero. Co-worker, co-worker. Co-worker uh, uh, training me. Hey, that's Training. good. That's nice. So that is shadowing mm -hmm, for uh -huh. sure. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's see. The other one is cheaper generic courses. Cuando dicen, han oído aquello que dice, ah, este es genérico. Uh -huh. <laughs> so cheaper generic courses. The staff will join employees. of this shelf training courses. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the of the, sh uh, um, of the shelf? 
The of of the you know what a shelf is? Shelf. Es una repisa. Es un eh, donde ponemos un estante. Decimos nosotros. Ah, estante. Uh -huh, that's it. But in these cases of the shelf training courses, is that the, the the what you have in lo que tenemos a la mano, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in this case, in the of the shelf training courses. It's a well. This is this is cheaper than the others because, uh, for example, for these trainings, the department or the area where you work sends only one employee or two sometimes. But when you have the training in your place, it is necessary to have a lot of employees. So they have to pay that day, okay? As if you have been working but you were not working. So uh, it is uh, for them at the end, it's, it, it is very uh, cheap, okay, to send only one person or two people to other places. And it is a combination for different, for different employees from different companies. For example, if it is a restaurant, there are people from Pollo Campero, people from La Pizza Hut, people from China Walk, okay, if it is a training like that. Okay, which is, is cheaper, okay, because they send only one person, two people, three, etc. But in the in your place it's more difficult because almost everybody do you remember really the last time it was uh, Dalila too? I remember you went to a training and more almost all the class went to the training. Do you remember? Mm, yes. So it is it, it's more more expensive. Okay, mm -hmm. to send all the people. Okay, so here we have this is the 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 one that you say the off the shelf. Okay, that's it. So los los mandan. Okay, um, this is this this is uh, training is 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 common, but nowadays the trainings are being in the office. Mm -hmm. Most of them mm -hmm. now they change that. In, in house training, okay. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, teacher. Teacher, yes. yes. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I have the number three, <laughs> the, the informal transmission of knowledge, face-to-face -face meetings. It's, men it's mentoring. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. mentoring. mentoring. Number four. Mentoring. Técnicamente capaz de realizar la tarea y tener paciencia para enseñar o entrenar. Pero dice que permite a la persona aprender en su propio lugar. Exacto. Ajá, pero es que, Ajá. pero es que también eh, en la, en la, en la, ah, ¿cuál es? pero la dos dice que utiliza emails y y teléfonos para la comunicación. Es esencial, dice, que tenga un mentor. Entonces, por eso yo creo, 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 mm. que la dos es in-house in training. O sea, porque no es tan... Yes. Y aparte que dice face to face. Entonces, ah. ajá, okay. por lógica yo creería que sería la dos este, esa. In-house training, it's a... Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. the, number, uh, the number two in-house training is... The number it's three. In in the number three. Uh, yes. Informal transmission. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the number one. What do you have in the number one? The number one for me is number three. <laughs> Shadowing, uh-huh. Shadowing. Yes. Shadowing, exactly. Sh Very good. Uh -huh. This is the number one. The second yes. one is cheaper generic courses. What is that? 
Uh, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Very good. Of the show, of the self training courses. Yes. Los entrenamientos que ya están listos. Ya solo de andar. Ajá. Okay. Very good. Number three. Number three. It involves okay the mental. Va. Para que tengan la idea más clara, leamos la cuatro. It allows people to learn at their own place, in their office, and to uh, have new, sí, okay, new yeah. knowledge immediately. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, what is the answer for that? Number number two, uh -huh. in-house training. In-house yeah. training. And the number three is number? It's number four. Mentoring. Mentor. Excellent. Mentoring. Mm -hmm. Mentoring. Mentoring. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. Ok. Yeah. Ahora, un mentor es aquel que te dice, mira hija, no, no se hace así, pero es face to face. Ok. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not in a training when you have 20 people with you, you're just listening, listening, and the trainer is talking to everybody. No, this is to you, face to face. Ok. That's it. Use an email and telephone communications. That's it. It is essential to have a mentor. That's it. Yeah. So, it's a mentor is el que anda con usted todos los días, no checking. But this only for you. Okay? That's it. So, number one, shadowing, right? Shadowing. Second, yes. second description of the shelf training courses. Mm -hmm. Third description. A, what is it? Mentoring. Okay? Mentoring. And the fourth description is in-house training. Good? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Let me check the other guys' answers and then we check together as a whole class. Great. Okay. Okay, my friends, okay. what is the answer, please? Can you share your answers? I can share, my friends. No, tell me. Ah, okay. yeah, I'm speaking, uh -huh. no problem. Okay. But if you have the book uh, there, got, uh, Carlita, no problem. Mm, yes, I have here. Okay, very nice. Okay, okay. very good. It involves an employee following another employee like a shadow. That's number three, shadowing, very good. Number two, Cheaper generic courses, number one of the shelf training courses. Excellent. It involves the formal transmission of knowledge, mentoring. Perfect. And it allows people to learn at their own place. Great. Very good. Okay. That's it. Okay. Those thanks. are the answers. Very good. Excellent job. Rosa, now, te ayudan en el sentido de que. Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> hello, hello, teacher. <laughs> El grupo es de 10. No, pensé que es de 4. Y solo hay dos preguntas. One, one per one, ¿eh? Yes. Ok, number 3. Uh, read it, please, uh, Gaby. Number 3. Diga, uh, diga, diga el uh, nombre y la descripción. Ah, Shadow Shadowing. Uh -huh. In involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow, to learn all aspects of a job. This is especially su suitable, suitable uh -huh. for new employees, a part of their introduction. Induction. Induction. Ah, yes. Excellent. Okay, very good. Excellent. The number three is perfect. Carla Joana, please read the next. Uh, the one. Of the self training course. Very good. Esos cursos que ya están listos para tomar, right? No hay que, no hay, no hay que, no hay que a, a este, formarlos, analizarlos, ver costos. No, this ready, ok? Listos para, para tomarlos, right? Por eso se llaman generic courses. Ya están en el mercado. Ah, quiero uno de esos, vean, right? Mm -hmm. Generic mm -hmm. courses. Ajá, excellent. Continue reading, please, que eh, yo. A cheaper generic coaster. The staff with joint employees for the other business of the course. Mm -hmm. Business of the course. Uh, some of these courses are designed to uh, achieve. achieve. Mm -hmm. 
or come towards a particular recognized nice. uh -huh, recognize qualification. Qualification, excellent, very good. Blanquita, number four. Number four, mentoring. Uh -huh. It involves the inform informal transmission of knowledge and socially capital over a period of time with some face-to-face, -face, meaning use of email and telephone communication. It's, it is essential to have a mentor. A mentor, very good. And the last one, please, Exa. Number two. Number two in house training. It allows people to learn uh, their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. The trainer must be technically able to do this the task and have the patient to teach or coach. Or coach. Great. Okay, very good. That's it. That's the answer for those okay training solutions. Perfect. Very good, guys. Let's come back. Okay, I think almost everybody's here, okay? We're gonna check here the, the answers together so you can check how easy was it, okay? It involves one employee following another employee like a shadow. We said that it was number three, shadowing, okay? Then we have the cheaper genetic courses, okay? What is it? Please, Brenda, what is cheaper genetic courses? Of the shelf training, in house training, or mentoring? Brendita? Hello, Brenda, are you there? Off the shelf. Ah, okay, thank you very course. much. Very good. Thing. Okay, off the shelf training course. Okay, very good. It involves the informal transmission of knowledge. This is face to face meeting. What is it, Giovanni? Uh, number, oh, number four. Number four. Excellent. Mentoring. Very good. Mentoring. Excellent. Y gallito. And, and obviously the last one, okay, when you learn, when you have the trainings in your own place, okay, this is the in-house, okay, training, very good. So those were the answer, guys, for this, and practically, okay, we are finishing, okay, with this part, okay, so we don't have more information to share about this unit, okay, the section has been finished, Okay, by now. Time for the attendance and the last activity, I have something that is very individual and personal, okay? Attendance number two, okay, Carlita Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Osmani Etzaú de León Hernández. Present. <laughs> ah, excellent. Okay. Bania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Hello. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present. María Araceli González Flores. Present, present. Okay, very good. Silvia Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández Palacios. 
Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Claudia Eliana Cazún de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera, absent. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira, absent. And Carla Joana Martinez, de Martinez. Present. Okay, very good. My friends, this is the last one, okay, I have for you, okay. This is, since we have been talking about this, this part, eh, I have this evaluation for you. Esta ya es de mi parte. Okay. okay, this is a questionnaire. Hoy aprendimos en la lectura que hay diferentes tipos de, de, de evaluación en una encuesta. Different kinds of evaluations in a, in a survey. It's not only a online services or checklists, but this is a questionnaire, okay? I have some questions for you so you can complete, okay, the answer. This is participant's name and the company, okay, and date. Those are uh, just generalities, okay, for this. Then we have the directions. Answer the questions below based on your experience using English in your workplace, okay? How you can apply English in your workplace, okay? Number one, it says, give examples of situations when you have difficulty interacting in English. So here you have to write situations when you have problems, when you want to use the English or interact with other people in English, okay? The number two is, why do you need to learn more English? Why, what is the reason that motivates you to learn more? Number three, when people speak English to you, how much do you understand? Everything, most? Some or very little. Four, when you watch TV programs in English, how much do you understand? So you have to choose. Five, when you speak English, how easily would you say people understand you? No difficulty, with little difficulty, a lot of difficulty. This is not cuántos te entiende, sino cuánto le entienden a usted cuando habla, okay? Ah, oh, no, no, teacher, they don't understand <laughs> the last option. That's it. Six, say how important these skills are for you. Skills are abilities, remember. Number one, the most important. And six, the least important. Del uno al seis, lo van a poner aquí. Listening, ah, oh, for me, no, oh, pronunciation is not very important. So, ponen el uno aquí. De ahí sigue, importa. Listening, two. Speaking, three. Read, etc. From one to six, okay? This is the last, uh, the last survey I have for you, okay? This is what we're gonna do. Let me check right now if you can, <clears throat> If you can get, okay, this survey, please. Okay, and there we go. This is the last one. Just, just, this is just like, okay, because the topic that we are studying, okay, recently. Let's see here. And we have this one. Can you please check in your chats, please? You are going to get this. Okay, did you have it? Yes. Okay, do it, please. Okay, do it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Let's work right now on this. This is individually, but you can work in groups if you can help each other, right? En serio. Sí, me lo, me lo, o sea, le doy. Teacher. Hello, Frank. Eh, the Quiero file, comment. the file is other format, eh, not lecture, eh, the, my, comp, the, my computer. Really, it's PDF. Um, I am sending yes. it. I am sending it once again. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, 
Acá está, eh, evaluation, y lo guardo, uh -huh. y ahí está, mire. Mm. Archivo. Ya es el formato, el ya formato la, que ah, tiene. Ajá. Otra vez, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Check it, please. O oh, Itzel, open it. O oh, Araceli, open it. Yes. Wait a minute. Okay. Yes, a mí sí me lo abre. Sí, verdad. Ok, creo que Franklin quizás no tiene el program, Frank. No tiene Acrobat Reader. Sí, verdad. Acro, Acrobat Reader, no. Eh, sí, Nitro, Nitro PDF, sí. Oh, pues quizás ahí. Pero, pero Acrobat pero no. Pero también lo tiene. Pero tengo, yo ¿verdad? tengo Nitro, ajá, y me, ajá, lo, y me lo, lo abre. Quiero. Ah, pues allá. Pero no. Acrobat no lo tengo bah, instalado. Okay. That's it. Ok, vamos, number one, please. Number two, three, las otras solo son de chequear. Ok, quickly, okay. because the time is almost over. Ok. Give example of a situation when you... Ya no me dejó. <laughs> ok. Complete the number one, please. Don't, don't write the, the, the generalities. Only the number one, two, three. Uh -huh. Ok. Because of the time, we have little time today. We have seven minutes. Mm -hmm, more or less, exactly. Give a sample situation where you have difficulty interacting in English. Interview. <laughs> mm -hmm, interview is very good. When some client uh, sent me an email in English, Okay, very good. Email. Because use 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 uh, words uh, como técnicas, no sé. Yes, uh, jargon. Jargon. Uh -huh. Technical word. Yes. And they speak very fast. Uh, in when they speak fast. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh -huh. What's the problem? Este, eh, vamos a entregarle esta. No, this is an example. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, okay. This is, an example. this is just like an, an exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, because it. I don't have a edit PDF. Oh no, no, don't worry. But you can you can write the answers in your notebooks. Uh -huh. Okay. Just okay. yes, to share. You, Very good. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, hey, a lot of people here. <laughs> uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay. What do you have here in this survey? Okay. Examples of situations when you have problems. Mention some, please. Why do you need to learn English more? The three, four, five, and six, that's easy, okay? Because you only have to check. The answer, teacher, um, mm -hmm. is personal or is is um, well in this in the in the normal service is personal. Mm -hmm. Right now we're gonna do it okay in groups, okay? okay. Uh, Franklin, entonces, perdón, se lo Va, voy a mandar. Uh, okay. Ya con este formato, mm -hmm. a ver si lo logra abrir. Mm -hmm. Vaya, me lo manda, porfa, y ahí lo lleno Esperemos. yo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Este, a, a mí también, Vania, porque no, okay. no pude abrirlo. Ok, ok. Gracias. Wait a minute, please. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. <ríe> aquí quizás, quiero ver. Very difficult. Yeah. Mm, it depends, because if you have subtitles, yeah. you, you uh, try well, to... Yeah. But in English, the subtitles, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Okay, and for you, Blanca, when people speak English to you, how much do you understand? Some. Some, okay. Ooh. 
Okay. When you watch TV program in English, how much do you understand? I do. Some. I some. <laughs> some. Uh -huh. Everybody some. Um, <laughs> it's very difficult, teacher. Yes, it's true. I, I agree with you. You have to listen and watch TV programs every day to train, to train, to train, to train. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, uh, when you speak English, how easily would you say people understand your message? <laughs> you understand <I> us. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand. You know, I understand you, but let me tell you something. I am an English teacher. Yes. And, and I have the capacity to, ah, I still can understand. <laughs> But other people is difficult. A lot difficult. A lot of difficult. <laughs> a lot of difficult. But now, for example, now in the experience in your work, have you had problems in communication with your customers? I don't have a, a client in, ah, in, in English, English, English more. Okay. No. Uh -huh. me, uh, for me, is is very difficult. I mm. have five, four, four okay. clients. For clients. For clients. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. A lot difficulty. Okay, that's it. A puro Google tengo que contestar. No, but... And Gabby, in your case, it doesn't apply. Okay, my friends. Well, let's let's end up here. Yeah. It's over. Okay, guys, that you're back. Okay, that was just a little example. Huh? That was just a little example of how um, evaluation, okay, a training evaluation form. This is the way you can complete, okay, the evaluation form. And after every training, you have this, okay? So with this, guys, we are finishing the intermediate one course, okay? We have practiced uh, a lot of structures, superlatives, okay? Uh, superlatives, uh, comparatives, uh, we should have, well, and vocabulary. De verdad que hoy sí hemos tenido vocabulary a lot, okay? My friends, finish the platform. This is the last step you have to do. Finish the platform, the final exam. De verdad que ya solo falta un ratito para terminar todo esto. No vaya a perder su beca por no hacer la plataforma, por favor, ¿ok? Thank you guys for your participation, your collaborations. Y de verdad, gracias infinitas con mi corazón. Que cada vez que les he pedido algo, lo han tomado bien y lo han hecho súper bien, ¿ok? Esperemos que todo siga así. No tenemos todavía fecha de inicio. Así que, este, pues, on Monday, you sleep until, until oh. noon. <laughs> yeah, you have to rest. <laughs> okay, guys, any questions, anything, whatever you want, you have my number, you can send me a message or you can call me, okay? It was a pleasure, okay. placer haber conocido Eliana, Sophie, Brendita, okay? New people nice in the English too. class, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.